I finally got my hands on the Bonsai Boost Everlast Air Styler. This is a multi-attachment styler. It has so many attachments as you can see. And it's pretty new in the market, so you guys wanted me to try it out on my curly hair. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna open this up. This is the first time that I'm gonna be trying this out. So we're gonna do a first impressions right here with you guys. This only retails for $188. And I say only because comparing it to other hair tools in the market that are very similar to this, this is a lot more affordable. Portable. and I mean you can get something similar to this for like $300 for another hair to another brand or something that is even up to $600 like the Dyson Airwrap so this is only $188 comparing it to those hair tools so it is a lot more affordable it brings like this nice little case like I really like this, this is very nice for traveling I don't think this is dual voltage so maybe traveling like domestically or internationally too if you go to DR and other places but you guys know what I mean it's not dual voltage so let's open this up so everything fits in here in this case it actually looks like a pretty small case but now that i see it everything fits perfectly in here i mean you have the two round brush attachments there's this one this is more like an oval brush very cool probably is maybe a little bit big to get close to the roots but we're gonna try it out let's see and then this is like a round brush this one's a little bit smaller but i do notice that i mean the bristles look kind of long so we're gonna try it out we're gonna see how it works it also brings this angled dryer attachment so this is supposed to like kind of like rough dry your hair i probably won't use this too much but it's there if you need it this is the base and you get three different heat settings three different speeds i mean the dyson goes up to like 300 degrees fahrenheit on wet hair like that's maybe too much the ghd goes up to 248 degrees fahrenheit i believe so it gets a little bit hotter but this one only goes up to 162 degrees fahrenheit that seems very very low so i mean i might not like that <laughs> so you either are going to love that or hate that and i feel like since my hair needs a little bit of extra heat i might not feel like it gets too hot for me but we'll, we're gonna try it out we'll see we'll see you also got this nozzle attachment so maybe that can help smooth down the roots a little bit and of course you got the two curling barrel attachments one for each side so you do get a lot of attachments i mean i'm counting and you literally get like like six attachments and to the base i'm gonna try this attachment first to dry one section and then we're gonna move on to the smaller brush and let's try that out as well i already prepped my hair so we're gonna get right into it and we're gonna start with this attachment i do have to section off my hair a little bit i know you guys have been asking me how i do that when i part my hair i like to do one section in the front can't believe my hair is already like drying if it gets too dry, I'm probably gonna wet it with water because I like to do my hair from like pretty damp hair. And then I divide the rest of my hair straight in the middle like this. Of course, I'll detangle my hair. By the way, if you're wondering what I use to prep my hair today, I use this SGX New York City hair product. I'm gonna try it out today. This is a heat protectant. And yeah, it's like a nice priming product before any blowout. So we're gonna try it out today. I've tried SGX products before and I really like them, especially their dry shampoo. Super nice and very, very affordable as well. So I divided my hair into two sections. So this top section and this one, but I'm gonna actually divide this one down here one more time because i'm going to start with this section and then i'll just bring my hair up just kind of like put it up there clip it for now i'll do the same on this side so i'll just part my hair right in the middle put this up and then i'll also do the same on this side okay so let's turn this on i'm going to use the big round brush attachment of course highest heat setting high speed because i need the most speed that i can get you turn it on right here and the most heat that i can get as well especially with this hair tool Okay, the brush feels really nice. Okay, let's do a little curl. This is actually surprisingly drying my hair so quickly i just think that the big round brush is not gonna get close to my roots especially like up here which is where i have like the most trouble like getting it nice and smooth because up here my hair is like so so curly it's crazy for this section down here it did a pretty good job let's try the other round brush attachment so let's take this off this is a little tiny bit tricky to take off these attachments so you have to like twist it and then pull it okay let's try this one all right so let's do this small section right here with the smaller round brush attachment i'm gonna turn it back on i feel like the bristles are a little bit long you can feel it kind of like passing the section in the top let's do a curl All right, 
so this gave me a pretty nice like bouncy curl i really like this attachment i feel like the bristles could be a little tiny bit shorter especially these plastic ones right here they look and feel just like very long like it doesn't really get super close to my roots like i would definitely prefer something more like the dyson airwrap large round brush attachment instead of this one just because this just feels very long it did do a pretty good job at like smoothing out my hair this actually gets pretty powerful and it gives me a very quick dry so so far i don't feel like it's like a weak blow dryer but i'm trying to decide which attachment i like more for the blowout so i don't know i feel like they're very very similar it's just a shape i mean the bristles on both of them are exactly like the same even the size of like the bristles like how long they are i wish this one was like just like a little bit shorter so it could be different if this one isn't getting closer to my roots i might as well just use this one then to like dry all my hair and then i'll do some curls with the curling barrels so let's take this off i'm just gonna do all my hair with this one and then i'll try to maybe smooth out my roots with this attachment with the nozzle attachment if i need to later and then of course i'm gonna use the curling barrels to curl my hair so i'm gonna start my timer now let's see how long it takes me to do all my hair i'm of course taking very small sections so the large round brush attachment is not bad but i feel like the bristles are a little bit too long i always have this problem with like these oval brushes even when i use the smaller round brush i felt like the bristles were basically the same like i feel like that was a great opportunity for this hair tool to have a different type of brush with different bristles maybe a ceramic brush instead i just kind of don't love how similar these two brushes are because they could have been completely different and they could have worked for different hair types and different hairstyles the ceramic brush could have gotten way closer to my roots this smaller like round brush isn't like my favorite and the oval brush was okay it did dry my hair super quickly i mean in less than 30 minutes so it was a very quick blowout but i feel like my roots look a little bit frizzy a little bit wavy and i would probably have to go in with another hair tool maybe like hate a round brush or a straightener or something else to make my blowout look a lot more smooth and for it to not get frizzy because it is very humid right now and it's like super super hot outside so it is the summer weather and my hair would probably get frizzy right after this blowout in the winter maybe not too much but i probably would still need a hair tool just to smooth everything out and give it more shape and make it look better but i am going to be using the curling barrel now so let's see if that makes everything look a lot nicer okay guys so this is what my hair looks like after blowing it out it took me right under 30 minutes to do all my hair so not bad i feel like the blowout is okay it's not like my favorite blowout it's not that bad the roots are a little bit wavy still so i'm probably gonna go in with the nozzle attachment now just to like try to smooth that out a little bit let's try this nozzle attachment it looks interesting but i really want to try to smooth down these roots so let's see it's a little bit hard to like hold a little bit like different I'm not used to holding a hair tool like this but it's doing something I definitely wouldn't be able to do a whole blowout with this attachment but it is smoothing down the roots a little bit so that's good this attachment is interesting it did help smooth down like the front edges like the baby hairs right here but it's not something that feels comfortable to use like it's not like a regular blow dryer that has an nozzle attachment with this attachment you can't really do a whole blowout i mean you could try but it'll be a little bit hard and you kind of have to get used to using this attachment this way like just with a straight base if you know what i mean um i'm so used to using this more at an angle so yeah it's interesting it comes with the hair tool so not bad but it definitely isn't like the easiest attachment to use but anyways let's do some curls so let's turn this on and see how the kawanga effect is i can already tell that this brush is a lot smaller than the t3 and the dyson the kawanga effect is okay it did grab all my hair but not as quickly as the t3 see what curl we can get oh that's very nice i really like that that's beautiful okay so so far not bad at all this is very hot so don't touch that so now let's do this side with the other attachment the other side Ooh, this feels hot 
around my ear. You see, like it curls it up. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like after curling it. I will say my curls look so, so nice. Like, I really like how this looks. It looks so voluminous as well. So yeah, this definitely gives you a pretty nice bouncy curl. And they kind of look like they would last a pretty long time. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Moroccan oil treatment oil. I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit of that. Run this through my hair with my fingers. I love how my hair turned out. Really, really like it. It looks super, super nice. <laughs> So yeah, guys, I really like how my hair turns out. I feel like for the price, for $180, you do get a lot of attachments and a lot of them make sense. I mean, this one is very nice, the big oval one. This one is not my favorite. I wish this one was more like this like a ceramic brush but maybe in the future they'll come out with something like that that would be nice to add to this collection to this like kit this one not bad i didn't really try this one but if you want to use this to like rough dry your hair it's probably not bad either but it's nothing like crazy you know the nozzle attachment is a little bit hard to like use because this base is like straight and i'm not used to using a nozzle attachment with a straight base i usually use it with like an angle not bad because it did actually help smooth down the roots a little bit i do feel like i will probably need a straightener anyways at the root because my hair would probably get frizzy the curling barrels were great the kwanzaa effect was not like my favorite just because i felt like it all kind of like concentrated in the same section of the barrel it didn't really like bring the curl like down so it was kind of like all stuck in the same section and i feel like the air was weird because it would like bring the hair up instead of like down but it did give me pretty nice curls <laughs> so overall i did like the final look i feel like for 180 dollars you do get a lot of attachments you get this nice travel bag as well if you guys want me to compare this to the new t3 hair tool let me know in the comments down below i feel like the t3 curling barrels are probably a little bit better than this one but again this one's a lot more affordable and i do like the final look so if you guys want me to do a side by side comparison let me know in the comments down below but yeah guys that is it for this video hope you guys liked it i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much <laughs>